I am extremely happy. Uh, today we have Dr. Chandrasekhar. None other than Chandrasekhar has come for the first memorial lecture of uh, Dr. Yadavari Digaru. Dr. Chandrasekhar is presently the Director General of Manage Hyderabad, my friend for the last 15 years and uh, the greatest personality, an extension scientist. And he has worked in several capacities. He was Director General, National Institute of Agriculture Marketing, Jaipur. And he worked in uh, uh, Karnataka, now presently working in Manage. And he is the person responsible for the several policies which the government of India is taking up, the entrepreneurship development, several initiatives by government of India. And Dr. Chandrasekhar is the person behind even the several schemes the government of India is now implementing. So today I'm extremely happy to introduce uh, uh, Dr. Chandrasekhar and uh, we're all very, very happy in spite of your uh, official and personal uh, uh, compulsions you could made uh, today. And uh, we're extremely happy, Dr. Chandrasekhar, for your presence. And thank you very much. Thank you. Now I request Jyoti to read the budget of uh, Dr. Chandrasekhar. It's my privilege to present Professional profile of Dr. P. Chandrasekhar, Director General, Manage Hyderabad. A leading professional in the field of agriculture with 31 years of experience and expertise in the areas, namely agricultural extension management, agri, agri entrepreneurship development, agricultural marketing management, and public private partnership. During more than three decades of service, he headed three premier agricultural institutions in India which work for the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Government of India. He served as Director General in charge of NIPHM, Director General of CCS National Institute of Agricultural Marketing, and is currently serving as Director General of Manage. A Chief Executive of these institutions, he, he led very important schemes, programs, and policy interventions to strengthen agricultural extension system and strengthened capacity, capacity building in agricultural marketing functions for the benefit of farmers in India. He has also served as director of several centers, research projects, and international training programs. As a director general of Manage, he established Manage, Manage FPO Academy, initiated Seva Manage, involving retired agri-professionals in agricultural development, initiated national network of agri-journalists manage, massive expansion of partnership activities with public-private organizations, introduction of rewarding mechanism for agri-startups, agri-preneurs, agri-filmmakers, academicians in agricultural extension, Krishi Gyan Deep Knowledge Lecture Series introduced to connect last mile extension worker with inspiring leaders, establishment of project formulation center for facilitating triple P in consultancy, established manage CSR forum, established national network of agricultural extension management experts, strengthened manage national facilitators development program, introduced induction training program for newly recruited agricultural officers, refresher trainings, CEO executive development program, international study program for agribusiness management students. As director general in charge for NIPHM, he established national network of plant health management experts in India, strengthened phytosanitary inspectors training by opening the sector for private participation, as Director General CCS National Institute of Agricultural Marketing Management at Jaipur, uh, he has established 10 academic centers, conducted 527 training programs, introduced Agri Startup Promotion Program through RKVY Raftar, successfully organized partnership research projects, introduced research internship program, introduced national facilitators development program, initiated induction training programs, strengthened agribusiness management education program, reintroduced modified Kisan business school concept, initiated CCS NIAM, Krishi Gnan Deep Knowledge Lecture Series, massive expansion of NIAM partnership activities, and he mentored 59 agri startups and funded rupees 5.68 crores as grant. During 2007 to 2018, as director, Agricultural Extension, National Institute of Agri Agricultural Extension Management, that's Manage Hyderabad. He was responsible for carrying out policy advocacy, training, research consultancy, education, documentation, and dissemination in the field of agricultural extension management. 
and Director Agricultural Extension was also heading two other following centers in Manage, namely Director Manage Center for Agricultural Extension Policy, Public-Private Partnership, and International Center for Excellence in Agricultural Extension Management. And the other is Director Program Management Unit, PMU, uh, Feed the Future India Triangular Training, FTFITT Manage. As founder director of Center for Agri Entrepreneurship Development Manage, he was responsible for implementation of central sector schemes of agri clinics and agri business centers, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Government of India. The scheme was uh, aimed at transforming qualified agricultural fishery, agriculture and fisheries professionals into agripreneurs and agri aquapreneurs. As a program director of Feed the Future Indian Triangular Training, funded by USAID and Government of India, covering 20 countries in Asia and Africa. In this training program, more than 1144 executives were trained through 44 in-country and third country training programs during 2016 to 2020, with a fund outlay of 5.96 million US dollars, which is almost equal to 38 crores, crore rupees. He organized international training programs, study visits funded by USAID, UNDP, and Government of India, and worked for implementation of bilateral MOUs with 30 foreign countries. He organized 610 national and international level training programs and completed 15 projects on different aspects of agricultural extension management. He published 87 technical papers, including 24 books, made nine films, and actively associated with several professional activities. Executive editor of Manage Journal of Agricultural Extension Management and editor of monthly Manage International e-Bulletin. Initiated e-Bulletin Agripreneur and voice of CCS Niam and is a chairperson of e-Bulletin Farm to Fork. Recognizing the contribution Indian Society of Extension Education presented Young Scientist Award during 2007. Received Magnum National Honor Award in the year 2011 by Magnum Foundation Nagpur, Maharashtra. A Special Appreciation Award by Indian Society of Extension Education. He also received Dr. D.K. Uh, Mishra Memorial Award in 2015 for contribution in agricultural extension by Indian Society of Extension Education during Golden Jubilee National Seminar at BHU Varanasi. He was honored with Award of Excellence during the conference, International Conference on Doubling of Farmers' Income of SARC countries held at Kathmandu, Nepal. He was awarded Divang Mehta Educational Leadership Award in the year 2019. He received Lifetime Achievement Award in 2019 from SRDA in Agricultural Extension. He received NITTE Karnataka Bank Limited Lifetime Achieve Achievement Award in the year 2019 for driving agri-entrepreneurship movement in India. He is a member mem extension group of Inter-Ministerial Committee on Doubling of Farmers' Income. He is a member extension group of 11th and 12th Plan Approach Paper of Planning Commission Government of India. He is an expert member to evaluate performance of coffee board and state agricultural universities of Karnataka. He is a jury, UN Food System Submit SME competition in the year 2021. A vice president of in International Society of Extension Education, advisor bioagri in Inputs Producers Association India, a chairman for screening committee CSIR National Award of Science and Technology Innovations in the year 2020-21. He's a recipient of Karnataka Science and Technology Academy Fellowship Award 2021 and many, many more. Sir, we welcome you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Jyoti, for your very lengthy, kind introduction. Namaskar to everyone. Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vishnu Vardhan Retigaru, my good friend, Director Extension, Dr. P. Ram Babuji, Dr. Vijayabhinandan, Head of the Department, Agricultural Extension, Faculty of Angro, Extension Department, I think many scholars, students are also here. Very happy to hear from uh, one of the family member of uh, Dr. Advi Reddy. His son, Dr. Krishna Mohan Redigaru from USA. His student, uh, Professor uh, Venku Reddy, is also online. Sir, thank you, sir. You, even though it is odd hour, but uh, you are with us. I would like to thank uh, Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor for this uh, invitation. Of course, when uh, Redigaru calls, nobody on this earth can say no. 
so they have to just accept it he was my good friend and neighbor uh, in uh, hyderabad so always carry that uh, uh, warm very warm relationship thank you for the invitation and i would like to thank uh, um, vijayabhinandan professor vijayabhinandan for uh, initiating this uh, activity uh, as a student of agricultural extension and director general of national institute of agricultural extension management it is my privilege to be part of this uh, august gathering here in angro where a great professional called dr adwi reddy was born professionally here he spent nearly 3 decades in this soil so it is my privilege to be part of this august gathering and uh, the, this university program and i would like to compliment university for uh, initiating this talk series probably uh, dr adwi reddy is not with us physically but the work carried out by professor adwi reddy is always with us uh, i think that legacy should continue in the leadership of angro already beginning is made my compliments to the entire university for this initiative under the leadership of honorable vice chancellor i can still remember some of the quotations from this book i have not opened and seen but i can really repeat those quotations which guided our profession for all three decades of my professional uh, path few quotations uh, i i would like to repeat it is known to you all people but they have long lasting impact on the professionals and field of agriculture extension number 1 don't give him fish but teach him fishing it talks about this is one of the statement made by professor adwi reddy garu and now also you know very frequently i quote this because it talks about empowerment and it talks about skill development see we all think that you know skill development is a very recent phenomenon and uh, we are the inventors but some uh, you know long back professor adwi reddy he gave this you know idea to all the professionals and some other quotations before teaching latin to john understand the john first then you teach latin to him that means before teaching agriculture to farmers understand the farmer first then you teach him agriculture then he also quoted the plow is very important because the plow is which brings the changes in the soil plow is very important but the person be behind the plow is more important than the plow itself this is another you know quotation so these are all endless i can quote another 10 coming out of this book these are all the quotations we studied as a bsc agriculture students in the first trimester you know the introduction to agricultural extension when we heard all these things uh, honorable vice chancellor was telling agricultural extension is very dry subject so this is uh, the perception of you know 99% of the uh, students no i could have got into uh, any other subject you know, i had you know fairly good cgpa i could have got into any other subject but these quotations and one of the thing which uh, uh, struck my mind is um, of course farmer plays very important role in agriculture development even if i study any other subject you no know, all subjects are important but even if i study any other subject ultimately i have to take these technologies to the farmer so i should work in a discipline which uh, understand the farmer better so that you know de development process can be uh, hazened so that made me to stick on to this subject and of course i enjoy a very program and every day of my life because i have chosen this path uh today in this uh, you know presentation i would like to share some of my thoughts on rejuvenation of agricultural extension agricultural extension was there it is there and it is going to be there but the change is the mantra because when the agriculture is changing farmers are changing agricultural extension must change because we deal with the farmers 
if you are not changing probably uh, 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 the the profession of agricultural extension will be in question so we need to change and what kind of rejuvenation is required for agricultural extension at this point of time and what are all the opportunities for action i am not uh, you know quoting some theory models but i am pointing out at certain opportunities where we all together need to act of course these are all some of the things which i am going to deal now first actually what is our perception of agricultural extension see if you start from the first book first definition very simple definition of transfer of technology and some of the other definition says lab to land and very broader idea given by some of the definitions by telling you help farmers to help himself and improving the living standards of the farmer but to present context if we see one of the definition which comes very close to reality which can help us to understand agricultural extension better and convince the farmers best is one of the definition quoted by doubling farmers income committee constituted by honorable prime minister i was fortunate to be part of this uh, deliberations and this uh, operational definition of agricultural extension you can see volume number 11 in uh, the out of 14 volumes in doubling farmers committee report you can find this uh, uh, definition it says that agricultural extension as an empowering system of sharing information knowledge technology skill risk and farm management practices across agricultural sub sectors all along the agricultural value chain so as to enable the farmers to realize higher net income from their enterprise on a sustainable basis here i would like to you know highlight one or two words number one it talks about empowerment number two it talks about agricultural sub sectors it is on farm off farm and non farm even you do agricultural agri tourism you know keeping soil and water as a basis you attracting the urban tourist you generate money that is also included as agricultural sub sectors whether it is agriculture or horticulture animal husbandry fisheries or any income generating activities on farm off farm or non farm everything comes under this and we have to address agricultural value chain why we are stopping after sowing teaching them soil management water management pest and disease management weed management and we stop after harvesting and we disappear that is the point where the middleman get in and they loot 50% of the profit in agriculture which is main concern of everyone in agriculture development so what i am trying to impress upon is we should not stop after at, at the point of harvesting we have to move further we have to be part of agricultural value chain and agricultural extension to speak the language of agricultural value chain centric extension and we have to focus on increasing the net income of the farmers see we may talk on anything but without increasing the income of the farmers today if you take an, an average one of the survey says it is very disturbing 2409 farmers are quitting agriculture every day why it is not becoming profitable so something else is more attractive and easy and profitable to farmers therefore they are quitting agriculture so income plays very important role so extension should focus on increasing the income of the farmers not in one crop one season one year on a sustainable basis agriculture should be profitable to farmers in terms of income that is the responsibility of the farmer so our perception of agricultural extension should shift from mere transfer of technology or lab to land to increasing the income of the farmers on a sustainable basis so once we change our perception of agricultural extension then we have to redefine revisit the job chart of extension worker who is going to give the services to the farmers it is based on this perception once that is the perception what we already discussed then what should be the job chart of extension worker that means when the extension worker meet the farmer go to villages what are the services he is talking about 
first thing you go to the book of uh, uh, professor advi reddy you find uh, this statement extension worker should be friend philosopher and guide to farmers that that i think it is very important this is extension is not the job from 9 to 6 o'clock and not the job to have you know holiday on weekends it is a 7 into 24 hour job so whether you are going to villages talking to farmers but that is there very much in part of your mind so he should be a friend philosopher and guide and he should always try to walk an extra mile to help the farmers so this is the perception of the job chart of an extension worker that is what you know it is already clearly mentioned in advi reddy book then what are all the other important activities uh, should find place in job chart of extension worker number 1 extension worker should tell all the ongoing program benefit to the farmers see the government is investing lot of money it has a purpose unless it is told to farmers and they take the advantage of this there is a disconnect between what we talk from you know uh, uh, from the state capital or national capital and uh, uh, the last mile uh, farmer i did a one small experiment just to understand if some policy is made in the national capital and uh, whether to what percent of the stakeholders in the last village they you know they are aware about this kind of benefits so we went to uh, some two districts betul and uh, another district in madhya pradesh where uh, dar and betul these are all the two districts in madhya pradesh where maximum percentage of tribal farmers are there we went there and we asked them on a very popular program are you aware about this program so can you believe after 5 years of implementation the farmers only 8% of the farmers told that they are aware i am not talking about taking benefit it is only a question of awareness so only you know single digit farmers after 5 years they were aware about one of the famous program implemented by government of india therefore i am telling whatever the programs launched by your government you please you know tell the farmers this is what the benefit and there is a program it is meant for you that is one of the important activity of the farmers then organizing farmers producers groups so the question comes whether he is trying to do that whether an extension worker can organize a, a farmers producers organization so this should find a place in induction training of extension workers nutrition sensitive agriculture we all have plenty of food but still still we have you know 38% of the indian population is lesser than the average height 36% of the indian population is lesser than the average weight and 21% is less than average height and weight 8% of the population suffer from malnutrition what is the meaning of this we have plenty of food 316 million uh, metric tons but 8% of the population is malnourished so not mere have, producing food is sufficient but uh, telling the nutrition sensitive agriculture is also very very important then promotion of public private partnership models and contract farming see private sector is occupying a large space in agriculture development we are not recognizing the strength of agri business companies ngos and nowadays ict service providers or mass media service providers they play very important role actually whether our extension worker can talk about this uh, private extension service provider he whether he can work very comfortably with them these are special skills should find place in the job chart of extension worker credit facilitation is very important so the, the banker uh, for him you know the farmer should fill all the application provide all the documents in time then only he will think of giving the bank loan whether farmer is empowered to do that if his farmer is not aware how to fill the uh, you know credit uh, application form who will fill that because of the simple ignorance the credit facility even though made available by the government it is not uh, available in the hands of the farmers so this is one of the extension workers main role credit facilitation facilitating access to inputs linking farmers to market is very important 
advocacy and farmers interest why i am telling is the moment we say he is a friend philosopher and guide then advocacy and farmers interest also comes into picture suppose a farmer for pump set and he is struggling to get electricity connection then what are all the technology whatever it may be the technology you pass up no use because there is no water in the field of the farmer who will help the farmer to get the electricity connection to his pump set who is help the farmer if there is no approach road to go to his field who will help them so when we say he is friend philosopher and guide what we read in this book he should behave like that and that is one of the important job of extension worker redressal of grievances critical assistance in risk management including climate change crop insurance ict enabled services now it is user friendly building agripreneurial competencies and linking to several support services to the farmers and evaluation of the program monitoring of the programs promotion of farmer led innovations feedback to research system this is very important aspect activity of the extension worker what is happening in the field that should be told to the scientist based on that the scientist should design the research project then only we can sort out the problems of the farmers so this critical link is in the hands of extension worker documentation and reporting and facilitation of convergence so many these are all some of the things then what kind of changes we want in extension approaches now it is individual led extension extension worker will go to a farmer visit his home there is a uh, extension method itself farm and home visit so i think we have to rethink about these farm and home visits uh, because the things are changing now what i am promoting is uh, i think it is very important to shift our focus from individual to group led extension so extension worker to farmer ratio is for every extension worker in this country we have 1162 farmers and it is practically impossible to manage all the problems of all the farmers so what is the solution suppose 1000 farmers are socially mobilized around a cluster around a commodity it leads to around 1.3 lakh farmers producers organization exactly same number of extension workers are there in this country that means what i am trying to tell is every extension worker can handle one farmer producer organization it is very useful for fpo at the same time very easy for extension worker also but instead if you start visiting individual farmers probably we end up with 1162 and uh, I, we we face the same questions what we are facing now then to mobilize the farmers into farmers producers organization we have to teach extension worker regarding social mobilization and that is one important skill which is missing today we have to focus on that we can take the advantage of some of the programs of 10000 farmers producers companies by government of india in this direction and under atma already commodity interest groups are promoted they may be you know 20 25 farmers together but they are the building blocks of farmers producers organization so why can't we federate commodity interest groups which are promoted by atma or commodity interest groups or uh, food security groups farmers interest groups these small small groups can be federated around a commodity then also it is possible to you know handle the group and linking farmers to inputs credit infrastructure i have told and promoting the federation is another important responsibility when we shift to group led extension so in extension probably in the years to come we will not be addressing individual farmer we will be handling with the groups and all the requirement for handling a group should be taught to an extension worker this is the major shift we are going to see in future the second important change what we are going to see in future is production led extension to market led extension see we have 316 million tons this year estimated production we have plenty of food but what is the income security of the farmers the country is rich with nutrition uh, uh, food security but whether the farmer is rich with his income 
the question is certainly no so we have to ensure income security of the farmers the income is in harvest and the post harvest phase where farmers are not playing any important role some local trader some wholesale dealer some retailer some commission agents they are making money because these are all the players come only after harvesting so it is very important to prepare farmers producers organization to handle harvest and post harvest related marketing processing related activities so i did a very interesting study as uh, you know um, in uh, niam jaipur uh, one particular state all the agriculture officers uh, we asked we want you to tell about marketing aspect to the farmers but are you trained in marketing 72% of the extension functionaries told they have not attended any market related training program in their lifetime how can and another advocacy book uh, another phrase says if student is uh, if student has not learned teacher has not taught that means if student is not learning that means the teacher responsibility lies with the teacher so whether it is a university or a manage or a you know samiti or any agriculture development program it's very important to teach agriculture marketing aspects to all extension functionaries so first empower the teacher then we can expect the teacher to talk the same thing to the farmers so what kind of uh, things we have to teach to the extension functionaries see how we can access real time prices of different commodities from agmarknet website how a mobile based app kisan rath can be downloaded agri logistics just like your ola and uber how kisan rath can be used for the benefit of the farmers if sorting grading drying packing bagging these are all very important in post harvest stage if farmers are not aware there are skill gaps how to address these skill gaps first of all our extension worker should know what should be the drying you know moisture per percentage should be there how it has to be dried how it should be graded those skill gap should be addressed suppose you know uh, the production is uh, you know seasonal but consumption is perennial whoever store the commodity in warehouse and uh, cold storage they make lot of money whether our farmers are aware about how to store the commodities if they don't know uh, electronic negotiable warehouse receipt where we can pledge our commodity we take at least 75% of the money so that for crisis price we need not sell our produce who will tell the farmers unless the extension worker knows about these things so when i talk about market led extension the i want a extension worker to know what is electronic negotiable warehouse receipt kisan rath agmark net and direct marketing linking local production to local market i did you know using interns i did a small you know surveys just to see whether we can link farmers produce to the local market local production to local market i'll give one or two examples every government is funding sc st obc minority hostels every government is funding providing food to the prisoners in jail and many consumers are you know daily taking food in the hotels so all government controlled uh, establishment like you know hostels why we have to purchase from open market paying money to the commission agents why not from farmers producers organizations directly we have 904 universities across the country you just imagine all our hostels are li linked directly to nearby farmers producers organization i think majority of the local farmers marketing issues are addressed the straight away farmers can double their income because 50% of the profit is going to the intermediaries and who has to play the role maybe institutions like we people and specially the district administration the collectors or deputy commissioners they can call the meeting of all the function hall owners you must be knowing this is the marriage season uh, the functions there are 1 million marriages take place every year in in the in the country and on an average 5 lakh rupees is spent on a marriage 
average i am telling and uh, the marriage which we attended last week and yesterday they might have spent more like 100 times more than this but i am taking an average 5 lakh rupees is spent out of that 40% of the money is spent on food is it not a direct local market to the farmers producers organization so the district administration and you know institutions responsible institutions if you can link local farmers producers organization to nearby sc hostel st hostel obc minority hostels the hotels function halls prisons i think majority of our marketing problems will be solved because year long they want the all the agriculture commodities and the price can be fixed it is also a message to farmers what kind of commodities they want many farmers producers organizations they are into you know export i'll just give you example of sahadri farms in uh, nasik 8000 farmers who started you know uh, farmers producers organization 10 years back you can't imagine the the reach of this uh, uh, sahadri farms they are growing 12 varieties of crops they are exporting to 42 countries their annual turnover is 565 crores so you call it as a company or a farmers producers organization so down the line there are standing examples success stories only thing the extension should adopt this concept in letter and spirit and uh, you know promote among the farmers the uh, fourth important you know approach is public to partnership led extension now here uh, you know these are all private extension service providers they are very important actually whether he is a progressive farmer or a farmers producers organization cooperatives agri pinners agri startups input dealers agri business companies ngos media social media private banks then ict service providers donor agencies see these are all you know very important uh, private extension service providers but uh, public and private extension we work in isolation seed company is also working and we are also working but we never meet actually even though we are working with the same farmers so by public private partnership we can create a win win situation even for a seed company and a institution uh, together i did one uh, you know maybe probably the first ppp project in a district called hoshangabad in uh, madhya pradesh what we did is we uh, took uh, you know the cooperation of a pesticide company and the de- state of madhya pradesh agriculture department and we signed an mou on 18 activities two years implementation and we wrote clearly what is the role of agri business company and what is the role of agriculture department and who should do what when investment sharing of benefits revenue everything we wrote you can go to manage website and you can uh, read the case study on uh, hoshangabad model so <clears throat> i'll give you example of only one that is soil testing one old used unused uh, soil testing lab in uh, located in hoshangabad district it was handed over to agri business company so 16 agriculture officers were working there they were shifted to you know field so that you know field extension is strengthened and four from agri business company they started uh, um, soil testing activity earlier it used to take nearly one and a half month from the day they give soil testing sample till the farmers get the result but we worked out with the help of input dealers and village level setups whatever they have we used the vehicle of same agri business company and it took just 8 days for us to get the soil samples analyzed and the result is given on the next monday suppose this monday if they are giving sample next monday they get uh, the soil samples so it is just possible because we started working with a agri business company which has uh, unlimited resources so public private partnership is very important aspect the kind of mindset we have at present we you know we have built a wall between public and private we think that private is private we need not talk to them they should not work with us i think we have to get away from this mindset and create a win win situation by developing ppp models so these are all you know some of the 
the last point regarding the approaches agripreneurship led extension see for example we want to transform every farmer into an agripreneur we want to transform agriculture into agri business in the process the entire you know this uh, change cannot be led by farmers it takes its own time they look for success stories they look for you know in uh, advaiti book you might have studied only 2.5% of the farmers are innovators in a village so 2.5% of the farmers should try they should be successful then uh, early adopters early majority late majority all these people will come later and we don't have that much time therefore it is very important to motivate some of the agri pinners the qualified agriculture graduates and uh, uh, some of the you know entrepreneurs having good resources to lead the change by establishing you know uh, agri ventures so in this process we have to include fpos in the extension scope of extension will be expanded to traders processors exporters also we think that only farmers are our, our clients but in future we have to talk to exporters we have to talk to uh, you know some of the processors and uh, traders also that is the extended scope of you know extension then uh, of course for promoting uh, you all heard about agri clinic and agri business center scheme unemployed agriculture graduates are given training some loan subsidies also given so now there is a rule that every branch in the country more than 1.5 lakh branches are there in the country that is bank branches every branch has to give one loan in an year to at least one agriculture graduate trained under agri clinic and agri business center scheme you just imagine in letter and spirit if this is implemented 1.5 lakh agriculture graduate will get at least 20 lakh rupees loan in an year i was talking to you know honorable vice chancellor that why we should not uh, you know try in andhra pradesh taking the help of lead bank as well as you know nabard probably when it materializes we seek the support of every one of you agri startups play very important role and clusters uh, the farmers around a particular commodity working for production processing and marketing everything is also very important in agri pinership led extension and most importantly <coughs> there are certain schemes like agriculture infrastructure fund up to 2 crore rupee loan is given interest subvention is there credit guarantee support is given so i think uh, you know some of the leading agri pinners we should help them to take the benefit of such schemes so that they become a success story they can motivate others then the job of extension worker will become very easy by showing a success story he can disseminate so these are all you know some of the very important aspects we have to consider when we are rejuvenating extension one is real time extension see suppose the market price of tomato in guntur if what is the probable market price tomorrow if we give some information we will be very happy if somebody is giving 15 days back information to us what is the value of that so it has to be real time extension the extension has to talk about today and tomorrow next year probably that will attract the attention of the people location specific extension yes it is very important very interesting to hear the success story of agriculture in israel success story of agriculture in netherlands but can we try in guntur is very important so the local farmer who is very successful probably he will be a success story for us and motivating him and leading to him towards israel or netherlands probably that is so location specific extension what is relevant to this place is very important efficiency and effectiveness of extension what is efficiency suppose you want to convey a message a message should be conveyed to b so if it is conveyed our job is over efficiently but effectiveness is whether the message is adopted by the farmer see adoption ultimately what is the purpose of giving message farmer has to adopt 
whether he has adopted or not is very important and that is the ultimate goal of extension it is not mere transfer of technology cost effectiveness social media is you know very cost effectiveness why we have to you know produce a film by spending 20 lakh rupees i am telling when the resources are very scarce so integrated extension value chain extension this is very important risk management climate change sustainability nutritional sensitive and capacity building these are all some of the new dimensions we can add to for rejuvenating the extension atma is most misunderstood concept i am seeing today agriculture technology management agency this is one of the most powerful flexible platform for bringing convergence of public public and public private players in agriculture development but the way that is understood the way it is implemented is most unfortunate and uh, that is where the capacity building uh, plays very important role and it has to be realized by even the administrators i was just uh, you know addressing uh, th this batch of uh, uh, ias professionals in masuri so talking about this the atma chairman is governing body chairman is collector only so collector is heading you know 30 35 departments and when uh, they go with you know atma meeting probably very less time is given because there is not much budget they are talking about some training demonstration so i was just you know restrict requesting them that this is every atma is unique you can make your atma special and it is very important to handle uh, this very effectively 10% of the funds for meant for uh, public private partnership you can uh, motivate you know some of the input dealer some of the agriculture graduates some of the ngos some of the agri business companies and the entire strategic research extension plan it can be market oriented now even the training also you can conduct training on marketing training on sorting grading exposure visit to you know most successful fpo so if all the extension activities methods are used towards marketing by atma and all other agriculture and land department probably we will be discussing more about marketing and market that is what market led extension is digital literacy is very important because we are talking about you know ict led extension no unless e literacy campaign is done our farmer knows how to use his mobile to access the prices to access the services to access the benefit of government of india programs any amount of you know information uh, development of mobile apps has no use therefore digital e literacy campaign i think this is very very important not only for farmers even for extension worker also agriculture journalism is another important area probably we have plenty of mass media you know television channels and radio channels print media literacy is very high social media is very strong but unless we have agriculture journalist who will speak about agriculture so i think there is need for that this kind of innovative activities can be you know promoted kvk plays very important role you know lot of information is there but i want to highlight only one thing kvk responsibility is not directly passing on extension services to farmers let us be very clear on that the kvk role is building the capacity of extension functionaries of a particular district so that they will reach the farmers very effectively kvk cannot be everywhere every village but extension worker will be every village everywhere so kvk can teach the teachers and the teachers can go to farmers that is what you know i just want to so this is another important slide see we carry out you know in university large number of research projects whether the input come from extension whether the input come from the field whether the research project is designed based on the field level problem this is very important thing i want to emphasize and what is the role of you know we have directorate and uh, extension department in university probably 
we should not do the direct extension and it is not possible to reach every farmer just like you know kvk then what we should do it's very important to develop new concepts and pilot test it perfect the model then the those models are passed on to extension functionaries who are the extension functionaries they are in agriculture department horticulture department animal husbandry fisheries so that is the role of you know university extension maybe one of the um, uh, innovation we can try is in rave program the students can be attached to farmers producers organizations and they can study farmers producers organization 360 degree then when they go back to any job for that matter they can handle a group of farmers very effectively and policy advocacy is very important so uh, policy advocacy to what extent we can influence the policies of the government when they make some certain schemes whether they take input from us these are all you know some of the important extension schemes agri clinic and agri business center scheme you know actually unemployed agriculture graduate free training is given loan and subsidy is given they can establish their own enterprise today uh, we have around 35088 uh, agri business centers across the country manages the implementing agency and uh, desi program is another activity where input dealer is given training kisan call center kisan call center real time and location specific information has to be given that is what you know when we talk about rejuvenation <clears throat> these are all some of the innovations uh, we initiated from manage how to utilize retired professionals maybe a retired professor a retired uh, extension worker a retired banker a retired entrepreneur so we created a platform called seva service extension through voluntary association and uh, around 500 mem or members uh, they, it is going very well and to in order to promote agriculture journalism we created a platform called national network of agriculture journalism around 200 agriculture journalists are members then for the in the country for the first time uh, we could organize a manage agri film festival on 11th march so 283 films from 11 languages came and we gave them award uh, from the hands of honorable agriculture minister of karnataka and krishi gandeep knowledge lecture series is another activity it is something similar to ted talk you might have heard about ted talks so it is something similar to that the best of the best professions they talk about their experiences and uh, uh, we reach more than 1 lakh extension worker in this country it is converted into a film and it is communicated to them and we also develop uh, facilitators manage fpo academy is functioning very well corporate social responsibility in order to attract investment into agriculture csr forum is uh, created we have instituted award for agri pinners agri startups msc and phd thesis uh, i am sure that msc and phd students are aware about this award so whenever advertisement comes between uh, january to march uh, you can uh, apply to this we have agri startup idea bank and to attract you know ex service men defense soldiers retired soldiers we have launched a program called jai jawan kisan so the retired soldiers will be, be trained in agriculture and they can take up some activities so we got the approval from ministry of defense uh, resettlement and some of other ideas that is for your information whether we can convert milk cooperatives post offices common service centers as extension centers because already there is a institution mechanism can we make use of those centers is one thing then we tried on a pilot basis manage syngenta model for self employment of rural youth what we understood here you, this is for the information of all of you because you are in the field of agriculture development so here uh, consortium approach is very important mere giving training mere giving the loan subsidy will not work so with the manage pa foundation uh, here we trained some of the uh, rural youth and they were placed in agri business companies just by 45 days program it became very popular among agri business companies 
just like we get placement in colleges we could place a rural youth after training with agri business companies these are all some of the new programs we have initiated in manage we are talking about uh, you know one health uh, that is the interface between animal health health plant health and human health so that is the future concept then uh, the role of agriculture labors in uh, uh, agriculture development see we, this important component we are not considering not even in extension it's very important to consider agriculture labors as important players in agriculture development mobile journalism solar farming carbon credits in agriculture uh, concept of family farmers bio fortification so these are all some of the you know new ideas which we are conducting large number of programs so uh, i just quote you know i mean today we are talking about uh, uh, professor advi reddy uh, you know he after reading his book i was also very much influenced and uh, one or two examples i will just quote and i will conclude my talk so first i joined uh, you know coffee board in kerala and then i was not knowing malayalam so they posted me one small library was there when i went there only few books were there i wanted to understand everything about coffee but they told some are in you know in andhra pradesh research station some are in karnataka some are in uh, uh, upasi research station some are in uh, cftri and being an extension worker i was struggling very hard to understand everything about coffee even though i was sitting in the midst of all the books in the library so that day i made up made up my mind that you know i don't know how many years i am going to work for coffee board but by the time i leave i should find answer to this question so by the time i left i published a book called 100 years of coffee research in india containing 1200 coffee research technologies everything about coffee research you will get in single book that book was published by me and that was my parting gift to coffee board i left that then of course uh, this hushangabad model uh, when people you know refuse to think that we have to work with private sector uh, i took up courage and worked very closely with private sector and this hushangabad model became very popular and as a result of that even in atma minimum 10% of the funds are kept for public private partnership so that is one of the uh, most satisfying uh, activity i have carried out in my you know profession and uh, this model got a national productivity council award for two consecutive years then training input dealers we have invested lot of time on this uh, desi program today i am very happy that we could train 71000 input dealers across the country today 25000 input dealers are undergoing training uh, in the desi program even though earlier it was uh, tried on a pilot basis by managed but now it is government of india program and uh, uh, training uh, unemployed agriculture graduate for self employment so we started with a very small number during 2002 but today we could able to train 71000 people unemployed agriculture graduates 35888 uh, agri ventures are there in field uh, as on date these are all you know once you imbibe inspired by agricultural extension uh, once you take it to your heart probably the inspiration by the extension education book of uh, you know advi reddy like you know great extensionist many things can happen so that is what uh, i just wanted to you know share with you uh, maybe just to sum up if you want to see very effective extension think about group led extension market led extension ict led extension agripreneurship led extension and public private partnership led extension this is the future of extension